I would prefer not to. Herman Melville, Bartleby the Scribner, A Tale of Wall Street. Hi there, welcome back. Let's continue our Servantine journey through history's greatest novel. Now the chapter changes focus. Three giant carts arrive led by the devil, who announces that Montesinos seeks Don Quixote with information about how to disenchant Dulcinea. This happens as night closes in. Blinding lights and sounds of drums and trumpets terrify everyone. War is again the theme, and now there is a racial touch. Suddenly, there were heard infinite lelilies in the manner of the Moors when they enter into battle. When a messenger arrives dressed like the devil, the Duke's questions reinforce the theme. Who are you? Where are you going? And what warring people are these who seem to be crossing through these woods? The devil, the second one we have met in part two, responds that he seeks Don Quixote, that more troops will arrive, and that Dulcinea will follow on a triumphant cart and in the company of the gallant Frenchman Montesinos, who will explain how the lady is to be disenchanted. A comical detail here. The devil does not recognize Don Quixote, and the duke has to point him out. The devil then swears by God and his conscience that he was distracted. At this point, Sancho produces an astonishing comment that highlights the problem of religious orthodoxy. Without a doubt, this demon must be a good Christian man, because if he were not, he would not swear by God and my conscience. As I see it now, even in the depths of hell, there must be good people. Like the narrator's observation that good books were burned by the mock inquisition in part one, Sancho ironically locates good people in hell. In fact, he observes that the devil himself might be such a person. Again, like the disguised characters now traipsing before us, Cervantes' constant weaving of comedy and complicated plot lines cloaks very serious points. Sancho's proposition is radical in a period of religious wars among Protestants, Catholics, Muslims, and a range of pagans in the New World and Africa. Idle reader, what if the devil is actually good? Did you know? In his divine comedy, Dante Alighieri locates Satan precisely at the transition point between hell and purgatory. When the devil approaches Don Quixote, he adopts a position contrary to Thidiamete's praise for our hero's challenge to the lions in chapter 17. To you, knight of the lions, and may I see you in their claws, I have been sent by the disgraced but valiant knight Montesinos. He announces once again the arrival of Dulcinea and departs after making another morally complex jab at Don Quixote that relates him to the duke and duchess. May demons like me be with you, and may good angels be with these lords. Note also that Don Quixote and Sancho are both shocked by this confirmation of the knight's vision in the cave of Montesinos. As they await Montesinos, Sancho expresses fear. I'll no more wait here than I'll wait in Flanders. Don Quixote expresses courage. I'll wait here intrepid and solid, even if all hell should charge me. Recall that Catholics and Protestants were fighting over Flanders. Again, sounds of war fill the woods in all directions. From all four corners of the woods were simultaneously heard four clashes or battles. The narrator is specific about the sounds, artillery, shotguns, soldiers, and in the distance there echo the lililies of the Hagarines. In other words, the soldiers are Muslims, by way of a reference to Hagar, the female slave of Abraham, who gave birth to his first son, Ishmael, the patriarch of Islam. The spectacle so frightens Sancho that he faints into the skirts of the Duchess, who revives him by throwing water in his face. Quixotic Mission Which term does the narrator use to refer to Muslims? A. Heretics B. Hagarines C. Ishmaelites. Correct answer B. Hagarines. Next come three carts 
dragged by four oxen covered in black cloth and with great wax torches tied to their horns. Each cart is ridden by an old wizard accompanied by pairs of devils. All are dressed in black. Finally, a fourth cart approaches, but instead of sounds of war, we hear the sound of soft and harmonious music. Sancho takes this as a hopeful sign. Where there's music, there can be nothing bad. The Duchess agrees, adding that lights bring clarity. At this, Sancho, hinting at inquisitional torture, becomes doubtful again, although it could be that they burn us. That's all for now. Find out what happens with our characters in our next discussion of this fascinating novel. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Panza.